So in this video, we're going to scan Metasploitable 2 virtual machine that we have running in the background, and we're going to scan it to understand what operating system is running on it, what ports are open, and the version on the services or those ports that are open so that then we can start tackling one at a time and try to exploit them. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is let's elevate our privileges to root. So we're going to type in sudo su. It's going to ask for our password. Now we're root. Let's clear the screen. Let's get our IP address. We want to get our IP address because the Metasploitable 2 machine is within the same network. We just don't know what IP address it's on. So we're going to grab our IP address. We're going to use Nmap to help us out here. We're going to copy our IP address. And what we'll do is we're going to delete the last digits and we're going to enter 0 slash 24, which is the CIDR for this right here. Meaning I want Nmap to scan all of the machines at IP addresses that are here starting at from 1 to 255. Let's drink some club soda. Nmap came back with the results. So we know that at this IP address, which we're going to copy, we have all of these ports open. Now, this is not enough for us to take advantage. This is a great start. But for us to take advantage of this machine and identify whether specific vulnerabilities exist, for one or more of these services, we need to get the version that's running on each one of those services. And we can do that with Nmap as well. So we can type in Nmap, TAC, S, capital V. Let's put in the IP address that we just copied. And then we're going to do it for all of the ports here. Fantastic. So you can see the difference. The first we got the port number, the state, whether it's open or closed or filtered, and then the service. But now with attack SV, what's happened is that more probes have been sent by Nmap and now we get the version column. So for example, for FTP, we have this version right here. For SSH, we have open SSH 4.7 etc etc if we go further it tells us that um the host it's called metasploitable and that the os is unix linux something so if we want to find out with more certainty maybe the version of the os that's running on it we can type in and map we can do attack capital o and then the IP address. And there we go, Nmap returns with the OS common platform enumeration. It tells us that, hey, this is running a Linux kernel 2.6. The OS details Linux 2.69 to 2.633, which is a really old version of Linux, which means that it's probably very vulnerable. And the reason we wanna know that is because when we are attacking the potential vulnerable service if one exists here which uh, spoiler alert it does then we need to know what version of the service is running as well as what the os is and we just gathered those details so stick around in the next video we're going to take advantage of the ftp service and we're going to learn how to get remote code execution or full control over that computer through a vulnerable FTP version. See you then.